Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back into another video. Today I wanted to do a full one week account overview so that way we can go ahead and take a look where we're at, what we're working on, uh, what we're trying to progress on, the things that are giving us some challenges, um, some nuances that we've been having, and how we're going to be trying to work towards, uh, you know, like the next phase of our progression. So right now we are at, let's see, we are at union level 36, so not too bad. Um, I've only spent maybe, uh, I said like 500 of the premium currency on refreshing, maybe probably less than that, uh, but probably about like once or twice the first four days. Uh, and then I slowed down. Uh, my thought process behind that is, is because I did spend a little bit of money. I'm not free to play, um, but I wasn't trying to go for like um, different um, what is it called? Like the S versions of characters. Like I didn't want copies of characters. So we, we ended up getting a, uh, copy of Gion, uh, cause we got him in the first 10 pool, a double of him in the first 10 pool or two of them in the first two 10 pools. Uh, we grabbed his signature weapon. We've leveled that bad boy up. I didn't grab any copies of this. I didn't feel like it was uh, necessary for what I was trying to do. I was just trying to get one of every character was, was my goal. Um, and with Gian, I did want at least one copy of him uh, because he's my favorite character in the game, just aesthetically. So I know I'm going to be using him long term. Um, as for different characters that we've got, I think we've pretty much grabbed one of everyone. We are missing uh, Ling Yang. Uh, so that's the only one that we're missing right now. And I believe we have uh, because I did summon on the other banner the regular banner right here, I ended up losing a, uh, no, I'm sorry. I summoned on this banner right here and I ended up losing the 50, 50 on my last summon for, uh, Verena. So I got two copies of Verena. Um, not that it really matters. I think we're going to be phasing her out here pretty soon. We, we started building up our teams and stuff like that. And I just, I'm not a really big fan of her kit. And uh, a lot of situations, I don't even find myself like pulling her in to use her as heals. But we do, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> oh, shit. We do have uh, 80 pulls saved up if we want to get uh, Yinlin. I'm still debating on that. Um, she doesn't really look like the type of character, like those freaking, um, whatever those damn weapons are called, those ranged type of characters doesn't seem like something I'd be interested in. And I'm, I'm 100% want a uh, Changlin and probably a Jinshi as well. So I I'm debating cause I'm trying to uh, limit the amount that we're putting into the game to still stay like relevant. Cause at some point we are going to start losing 50 fifties and getting copies of all the characters. Now, I could just hold on to those copies, but it's kind of a waste because they're just going to be sitting there. It'd be silly to do that unless there's some kind of function that comes out later that allows me to, like, trade them in for other characters, which I truly doubt that. But uh, as for now, like, trophy-wise, if you've watched any of the videos, I kind of explained I don't directly go for anything when I'm exploring the map. I, I probably should do that to just clear this crap out and, and get it done with. But this is all from just exploring randomly by clearing like a path for elites and stuff like that. And then clearing out different mobs and stuff that I want. Obviously, we are at data bank level 20. We're just waiting for level 40 to come, which should be in about like four or five days from now. Uh, what else in the shop? Let's see. I don't think there's really anything important to go over in the shop. This is what I've spent. So we got a 14, a 50 and a 100. And then we have the battle pass. So what are we at? Like, say 200 in total. And uh, out of those like 200 in total, as you can see, pretty much all of them, but 10 or maybe 20, uh, I haven't used. So they're all still sitting here. This is like pretty much the, the paid currency. And this is the paid currency sitting right there. And then I did use um, one single summon on this and got the Verdant Summon on my very first. No, I'm sorry. I did a full pity on this. And then we did a one single summon, two single summons on this. We ended up getting the Static Mist uh, and then nothing else. We got the Static Mist on our first pull. That was crazy. 
But yeah, as for that, we are working on right now uh, min maxing out our Geon. Um, I'm not in any rush. I feel very comfortable with where he's at. These are the stats right here you could take a look at. I'm trying to get some more crit rate and I'd like to get a bit more energy regen if we can re-roll for that. But as of now, uh, we'll just go to the pieces real quick. We rolled a crit damage here and a heavy, heavy attack, so I just kept it. Um, over here, we got a heavy attack bonus and a crit rate. We still got one more level to go to get the last one. Hopefully, we roll uh, energy recharge or crit damage on that. Uh, this one, I'm still trying to replace it with an arrow damage. I've been unlucky and have not got a single other three cost unit with arrow damage. Uh, so we're sitting with that heavy attack, eh, decent. It's OK. We'll, we'll work with it for now. Uh, on this one, same thing. I got crit damage and um, yeah, not much else. <laughs> so I'm in the same boat as most of y'all. Here we got a pretty godly one. We got a crit rate, um, crit damage and attack percent with some resonant skill damage boost and basic damage boost on him. Uh, as for Gion's skills right now, I have everything as far as I can push it. Uh, and here is the one copy, as you can see. The reason I wanted this one was just to be able to use the E one more time. It does add a little bit more damage, but honestly, I got it because I just felt like it's cooler to dash around, like aesthetically pleasing for me. Moving on to more Teffy. Um, right now, don't laugh. I don't think I've leveled up pretty much any. I got a 20, a 15, a 12, a zero, and a zero. So <laughs> yeah, he's slacking right now. We got a crit rate one, uh, rolled another crit rate here. So it's okay. An attack. I want to energy recharge here. We got the energy region and energy region. So really good roll. Um, here we got a fusion damage. I'm still thinking about keeping this or swapping it to another energy region. Um, so that way I can just have his uh, skill and ultimate up faster, uh, over here, obviously attack and attack. We still need to roll those. They're both at level zero. Next up, we got his uh, talents. They are all sitting at one. I have not invested anything into this man. I promise you I will. Actually, is my uh, camera in the way of anything? Yeah, it's still level one right there. Um, but yeah, we are not going to do anything with his skills right now. I don't want to waste, waste the resources. I have him at an S1, uh, so not anything too special on him. Verena, I... Uh, I haven't even like done anything with her. She's sitting at probably zero on everything. Yeah, I haven't leveled up anything on her. I just got the set, put it on her. Uh, Jian Shin, we got one copy of her. I put a little bit into her skills because I do plan on using her. Right now, we're using the stoner. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, using the static mist on this bad boy. We leveled it up all the way. On her, we're using the variation. And this one is actually at rank five. I got lucky and got all those, which is really great for her. But I often don't use her uh she's just very clunky i feel it's kind of a weird weird feeling um on her i'll share probably the same you know setup with him i don't use them both in the same team very often it's usually just gian and morteffi um as for her I'll, don't don't have any copies uh calcharo i was starting to work on this bad boy um but because the whole you know, his, the, the weapon that I got for Gian doesn't really truly work on him. Of course, it gives some stats and everything. I could use it and we could test him out. Uh, but as for his echoes, I pretty much my my goal right now was to get minimum just best in slot uh, main stats across the board for everything and uh, move on from there. Still working on this. Actually, you know what? We might have that bad boy. Uh, let's look at the three costs because I did do some... Uh, soul searching today with some echoes and maybe we picked something up no we are unlucky so yeah we don't have anything good to replace that here obviously attack and attack i leveled them up a little bit because i thought i was going to use him for one of the towers then i was like nah fuck it i'm not going to use this dude um i just don't yeah i just have no need to use him right now uh the rover uh oh his skills i started leveling him up again wasted investment I should have been planning a little bit more ahead, but you know, we make mistakes and we learn from it. No copies of him either. Let's move on to the next Rover. 
Rover, we put some investment into. We got uh, her weapon at level 50. I'm, I'm still debating on pushing this up to 60 because I would like to have at least a second, you know, uh, sword of this class for probably, uh, what is her name? Good Lord, I forgot her name. Donjin. There we go. I remembered her name before I clicked it. Donjin, I would like to keep that for her because once we hit 45, we'll be getting the sword from the um, free five-star selector. As for her echoes, I'm pretty sure they are all uh, 25 across the board. We got a crit rate with crit rate uh, and attack percentage. Uh, some other stats that are okay. We got uh, havoc damage with crit rate and crit damage. So huge on that one. Basic attack damage. Eh, okay. Here, havoc, havoc damage again. We got crit damage again on this bad boy. And then some other useless stats. Again, here we got crit damage. I mean, we pretty much rolled something crit on every single one of them, which was huge. We'll hold on to those for right now. Um, I probably won't replace any of these for a while. The reason being is because, one, I don't feel a necessary reason to do that. And what I mean by that is that I don't want to make the content too easy. Obviously, there is some content right now that I just can't flat out beat. It's a damage check, but those are mobs that are just straight up higher level. So once we get up into those levels, we'll definitely be able to clear them. If I wanted to, I can bash my head against and learn the mechanics perfectly, not get hit and see if the damage output is good enough for it. But right now, I'm, I'm kind of staying in this realm of most of the characters with what I want to do and not push too far on them. As for her talents, again, pretty much all the way finished. I just need to unlock these two, which obviously we can do that today if we wanted to, but no rush. Uh, I'm kind of debating what I want my path to be. Obviously, everyone's sitting right here. Uh, next up, we have old girl Encore. Again, I just equipped like the, um, she has no weapon on her right now, which we could probably switch that out to something. But yeah, I mean, th this there's, I'd got nothing for her. So <laughs> she could stay with that. As for her echoes again, just equipped the best in slot main stats. So that way we can have these ready to go. If we ever decide to start building her pretty much everything, uh, all my characters that I want to build in the future are sitting in the same boat. As for her skills, we haven't invested anything. No dupes on her as well. Uh, this will be the last character that I kind of go over because uh, I did equip some uh, pretty decent echoes and stuff to her. We have, again, best in slot on this. Crit rate, uh, glacio damage, glacio damage, and then attack, attack. So, yeah, that's pretty much where we are for the characters. What are my plans for the future? Um, if we are going to pull for Yinlin, Yinlin? Uh, then I'll probably be going for her um, weapon as well if I decide to do that. The only problem being, and, and definitely I'll do at least a 10 or 20 pull on her banner. If we ended up, if we end up getting her in 10 to 20 pulls, most likely what I'll do is go in and um, probably spend 10 to 20 pulls on the limited weapon banner. I feel like that's a fair amount to go into a character to just like kind of hope that we get them. If we don't, we are going to wait for the kits of Jinshi and um, Chengli to come out. So that way we can uh, make a decision on which one is the most valuable for our account. Oh my God, I missed that. Which one is the most valuable for our account? And then we'll go from there. I do like Chenglin's uh, aesthetic a million times more uh, than I like Jinshi's. I think that her um, overall appearance and everything is pretty cool for the game. She reminds me a lot of Mary Leona. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much where we are from here. If you guys uh, have any questions or there was anything I was going over that you are you know, speculative about, please let me know down in the comments. And um, also another thing, everyone shout out what union level you are. And what your next character is that you're going to be pulling for. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for stopping by. And I'll see you all in the next one.